subscribe to James the Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. And one, I got Eric back on, and this is the unscripted podcast. Say hello. <laughs> Yo, man, what's up? This is a uh, crazy smattering of movies that you were so excited for, <laughs> and summer. I'm so excited to hear what you thought of them. <laughs> And, and, and like the first one we did, that this can go anywhere. <laughs> right. So did, is there a specific one you wanted me to go on? For? I want to know about your... Okay, so I know that Doctor Strange is like the oldest one, but it's the one that I probably have like actual stuff. Like I've seen clips and I've seen things. So like there's stuff there, whatever. Okay. Jurassic World Dominion is a movie that I have heard, I think, nothing but negative things about. I've seen nothing but negative reviews for, and like even <laughs> diehard Jurassic Park people are like, what happened here? So, so what did you think of it? So I personally thought it was better than uh, Fallen Kingdom, but that's, <laughs> but <laughs> then I personally said, as I was saying that, it's like, that's not... That's a margin. low <laughs> bar to have to jump over. So, um, so I'm going to talk about the plot here. So the plot on, like, it has all three of the original cast members in it. Uh, and right. I know you had a spiel about like them having a deal in the writing process from the last time we talked about this. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> and um, uh, ha- you could tell like half of the cast didn't really care about like being in the movie. <laughs> right. And then um, you know the guy from the first one who hired Nedry to betray the park. He's the main villain of this one. Is that the scientist? Dotson, the guy where was... Nedry says Dotson, Dotson, we have Dotson here. From that one line. Oh, really? Yeah, he's the main villain of this movie. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's wow. That's a weird deep cut. Really? <laughs> yes. And um he when I say when I say it said half the actors like don't care, like he's the one that doesn't care that he was in the because there's a he has an assistant that he just spouts like random lines to and then there's the line where he like, just says fuck and he throws his arms up in the air and punches a chair <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny that's so crazy <laughs> but um yeah other than that um i thought the original cast pulled pulled the weight of this movie really like uh chris pratt he didn't really want to be there neither did uh the what's her chick uh ron howard's daughter uh bryce dallas howard yeah, or whatever yeah she she didn't really like uh, the, the only reason i really liked it like i said the main cast <laughs> wow so like even with that main cast you still feel like it's not really super strong of a movie or what i mean definitely like i said better than like the first one because the first one mm-hmm. was just a fan service the movie <laughs> right like like, right. Star, like the star wars one was and then uh, the second one was they're just gonna create like this dinosaur that follows your command when you already have a gun for your right audience. when you have a gun you're pointing it at you it's so dumb that was so dumb that was <laughs> no, like, no. this one is just uh it says jurassic world but like they solved the problem in the background for jurassic world like the first like minute is like a new segment about them talking about dinosaurs around the world and then like the last like five minutes they say oh everything's fine now (laughs) that's so lame that's so insanely lame i hate that i hate this i'm glad that this is the last one Air, that's air, ridiculous air, air quotes because in a few years you know they're gonna uh, reboot this <laughs> they are they're gonna go hey th- you know what they're gonna say hey those last two don't count only the first one of the new ones count exactly. and you're gonna go and you're gonna go see it you're gonna go fucking see it gonna you're gonna fall sucker. for it again <laughs> everyone's hook line and sinker everyone's gonna fall for it again i think that if you make these movies you should have to honor it in your stupid movie timeline i think it's bullshit <laughs> That people are fine with this. Like I how, think that sucks. It's like how in the, these last two they said like the the Jeff Goldblum one and the second island didn't count. Yeah, and then they just bought it back for these last two. <laughs> yep. What the fuck? This <laughs> sucks. I want to say I'm like, mad. I want to say the crazy thing about this movie. Um, so the craziest thing is um, you know the clone girl from the last one. Yes. She yeah. She apparently gave birth to herself. <laughs> this movie sucks. I hate this movie. <laughs> these uh, BD Wong goes on to spiel about how uh. She, she she didn't have no sperm donor or anything. She just injected herself with something and she gave birth to this herself. This sucks. <laughs> that sucks. What the fuck? I kinda, That's the... I got a big ass sigh in the theater when I saw it the first night. I'm like, I really wanted to shout boo, but I did it in the second <laughs> night. <laughs> the second night that I saw it, there was twice as many people. I'm like, I can't do it here either because i already seen it. <laughs> wow. So, like... 
So then letting the dinosaurs out makes even less sense yeah. because it's the self-replicating cloning thing. So who cares? Like, this is dumb. I'm mad. Plus, I'm like, mad it about you that enemy company, the, the, the Dotson guy, he can just recreate them. <laughs> right. Like we recreated dinosaurs. It doesn't matter. Like just bring, di you just bring dinosaurs back whenever you want. They already did it. And they, so who cares? And they never bring up the snow thing either, by the way. <laughs> it's just a cool Oh, thing. really? It's, oh, it's so they're like just in snow and it doesn't matter? It's just like a cool aesthetic, yeah. <laughs> what? I'm going to look up, could dinosaurs survive in snow? I'm going to Google that right now. I think we did that last time, too, and it's like, no, no they couldn't or whatever. Like They're like, these, they're based off of the liz lizards or whatever. So dumb. So dumb. And then the I, other story I'm, is uh, Blue, the rapper, she could also give birth by herself. She's like, like an, she was based off of Komodo dragons or whatever, and they can reproduce this them by themselves. Sucks. I'm mad at whoever, like, who wrote this movie? I'm mad at them. I think this it was is, the same guy from the... Original one, Trevorrow, whatever his name is. This I'm is up myself. this is ridiculous. Emily Carmichael <laughs> is one of the two screenplay writers. <laughs> two screenplay writers. That's even worse. <laughs> yeah, these are screenplay, and then she wrote like Pacific, Pacific Rim Uprising. I was surprised that uh, um, Steven Spielberg didn't want his hand in la the air quote last one. <laughs> oh, I I think he's. I think he doesn't care. I think he has so much money that it's fine with him. He's just like, no, I'm not doing this. I don't care. I, I do don't, want I to say Jeff Goldblum and uh, Lord Duran pulled their weight in as terms of like the original cast returning. If you're wondering, like hmm. the, the, the original cast wise, the other person who wrote this movie wrote the story for Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> makes it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh... <laughs> This movie sucks. This is I'm mad at this movie. And then this I is say, not a good. And then I say it's the best this is one. not. I say how okay? <laughs> how does it end? It ends um with uh Dotson getting defeated. Oh, like there's like locusts that are trying to end the world, and like they make Beatty Wong the good guy because he doesn't like this anymore. So he like creates like a locust to kill all the other locusts. So um. And then it ends with, uh, like, dinosaurs pretty much living among people. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just where it started is where it ended? Pretty much, yeah. Like, the way Fallen Kingdom ends is where, it's, where this one ends, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So it's like we didn't even need to do this we movie. Just, we, we just did this like all the other movies are doing. We just bring in the old cast. <laughs> this is terrible. It, like, would you, like... So this is the last one until they, you know, resurrect it in six years or whatever to make another Jurassic Park or, or whatever, right? Uh, are you going to see the next Jurassic Park? I mean, like, I did it for all the Star Wars. I more than likely will for this. <laughs> Man. Except I sat through six of these movies. <laughs> That's so many? There are six of these movies? After this one, yeah, there's uh, three of the original and the, these three, yeah. <laughs> oh. Imagine going oh back in God. time and be like, hey. There's going to be six of these Jurassic Park. Oh, dude, if I can go back in time when there was one Jurassic, the first Jurassic Park, and you say there's going to be six of these, it would be like, oh, no way. That's going to be awesome. And then it's this. It's just Chris Pratt holding his palm up to a dinosaur. And then it, like, stays. This sucks. This is such a bummer. So, so did you want to move on to the next, my next Yeah, one? yeah, let's, yeah, because I don't really have a lot of questions about Jurassic World Dominion. Like, does Chris Pratt live? Well, they all live, all the main cast, and so does... The <laughs> this movie they, they don't kill, sucks. Not, like, which I thought would have been the perfect time to kill like one of the original characters. Yes! Like, yeah. but have, they, have Sam Neill die for like a strong no, moment. No, because there's a part in the movie where Jeff Goldblum goes up against the, the, the main like bad dinosaur, because apparently the director tweeted out like this would be like the Joker of all dinosaurs, and it wasn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say that Jeff Goldblum went up against the main bad dinosaur? Yeah, he picks up a torch, and he does, like, what uh, Sam Neill does in the first one, and he, uh, it's a Giganotosaurus, the biggest dinosaur that ever lived, and he throws a torch in its mouth, and he doesn't die from that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought that would have been, uh, like, and then, the, the, okay. that, I thought that would have been the perfect time to kill him off. When I first saw it on theater, it's like, oh, they're gonna kill him off. Nope. <laughs> No, I lived against the biggest dinosaur of all time. Everyone else dies. All, like, the non-essential cast, they get eaten. Fuck them. But if you're essential cast, you live forever. But, that, 
but but, but BD Wong because he he regrets what he does and he wants to make amends for himself. <laughs> so he dies? No, he he lives. No, BD Wong lives. He he regrets what he does and he wants to make amends for himself. <laughs> Dude, this is the worst. You are describing like the worst movie I've ever heard of. This is. T- terrible worst. there's no stakes and no sacrifice where it begins and where it ends are exactly the same this is insane worst this than, is true this is truly like miserable worse than star lord or chris pratt's character flopping around against like lava for like 10 minutes in the, uh, in the other one it's <laughs> uh, so lame like stop making these like stop making these movies man like I mean, they are, but they aren't. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're gonna take. They're not now gonna. like ten years and come back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's put let's put the stake on it right now. It's it's 2022. Do you think by 2030 they've rebooted or brought back? I guess whatever one of the two. Jurassic Park. Do you think that that IP is relaunched in some way? If not by 2030, like halfway, like 2035 or whatever. No, we got it. We got to say by 2030. Yes or no? Uh, yes. Okay. But for, okay. I, for, for I'm going to take the no money, just to be, you know. It's it's universal for their money standpoint compared to Disney. I think yes. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Um, man, like that sucks. <laughs> Everything you just described sucks. Um, <laughs> ugh, yuck, yuck. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about Doctor Strange. So so Elizabeth Olsen was my favorite part. Wanda's mm-hmm. character, um, mm-hmm. Doctor Strange. Is, mm-hmm. uh, I know a lot of people probably said this. Doctor Strange doesn't really do much in his own Doctor Strange movie. Right. He's, he's just of sort a, of like, back things are him. happening around him or near him, and he's doing some things sometimes, right? I, I Yeah, I personally think, like, in Avengers and, and in Endgame, like, like, people don't know, like, what he really does. Like, I think that fits him best, like, him being just there and being so powerful and, like, you do not know what like what he does or whatever. Like, huh. he doesn't, like, do anything in this, really. <laughs> Interesting. Except- okay, so let me ask you, let me ask you about this. Do you think that John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic is the back door to them doing that, a, a Fantastic oh. Four movie with John Krasinski? Oh, absolutely, yes. I, like, that. that's definitely what that is, right? Yes, absolutely. I think that is, okay. yes. I do think they're going to bring him... It's already confirmed that Captain Carter has her own movie coming, too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Then, As oh, we're just... Written, oh, yeah. then we're just doing this. And because they used the guy from the Inhumans thing that they never did anything with, right? Yeah, the old TV show? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, they never did anything with that, did they? Like, did it even no, come the, out? The, the old TV show, yeah, the, uh, everybody hated that one, too, I think. No, I, I remember it being, like, negatively, like, reviewed or whatever, but I don't remember it be. I don't remember it coming out. I assume that it came out. It's I just on Disney no right now. Like, I've, I've looked it up, and it's, it is on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> you haven't watched You haven't watched the show? Mm-mm. Oh, are you going to? I... I Probably will get drunk one day and watch. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, I thought the way that uh, I thought that scene because that's like one of the only scenes that I've seen from this movie. Oh, where, um, he, where he screams at somebody. Or yeah. Yes. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. I thought, like, what a cool, interesting way to kill this character. So, um, I'm sure you're wondering how like Sam Raimi does because I know you're wondering how you. Like, oh, I guarantee that it's a Sam Raimi movie. Oh, uh, uh, so it's like. Like everyone says, it's like a Marvel movie for like the first half hour. Then yeah. there's like an instant switch when Wanda. I'm gonna say it right now. Wanda's the villain. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've I've seen that. She's like fucking cool. Uh, she's like going for it everywhere. And um, I when I bring this up to people, I'm like, uh, people say the Hulk's the strongest of Thor. I'm like, no, it's a Wanda. She she personally went into another universe and took out like half of the ma- main superheroes in another universe. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. She took. She kills all those. Uh, uh, the John Krasinski guy, Captain Carter. Yeah, she kills. Uh, yeah, I saw all that. I, like, I thought that scene was really cool. I thought that was really awesome. Did they do like a Marvel Zombies thing? Oh, Doctor Strange does possess his old. Like, they open up with a different Doctor Strange from a different universe, and then he dies, and he's in our universe, and then Doctor Strange pers- possesses that body towards the end of the movie to fight Wanda. What the fuck? That's when it becomes a really Sam Raimi movie because there's like demons surrounding him and everything. <laughs> <laughs> What a great, man, what a great description of exactly what that is, where you just go, yeah, there's like, 
zombies crazy shit going on this is when it really becomes a sam raimi movie that's fucking and, Br- and bruce campbell great. Was an appearance so oh <laughs> man was it was it pretty like you know sam raimi feel oh uh bruce campbell is he in it yes yes he's in it yeah he does make an appearance <laughs> what what is he ash in it because it feels like that's a thing they just no, do or up, is it like he shows up as like a just like a cameo as Bruce Campbell in like one of the universes that they first jump to. Really? Yeah. He's just Bruce Campbell? <laughs> he calls out Doctor Strange as being Doctor Strange. He straight up says his name. <laughs> really? He's like, are you some kind of Doctor Strange? And he pulls on okay, his cloak. Okay, alright. Fuck off. Cloak. This sucks. That's a same <laughs> movie. Shut he up. This sucks. His, he pulls on his cloak and he calls it a cape and Doctor Strange is like, no, it's not a cape, it's a cloak. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm mad at this. This every like little things in this movie. Like that's the kind of stuff that I see in a movie, and I just go, "This sucks." Oh, just so you know, the kids, Wanda's kids, were the worst part of this because I know they were good. And I, you've seen WandaVision, right? No, but I know I've seen like the kid. Like I know about all of that stuff. Yes, but yeah, like they were better acted in WandaVision than they were in this. But I understand that because not everybody watched that show for this movie. Right, 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 right. Uh, and and mostly what I heard is that. You really didn't need to watch Wanda, WandaVision yeah. to get... Because they kind of... Like... Yeah. You just, like, don't need it to, like, get the most out of the Doctor Strange movie. And that's fine, but it's a thing where it's like, oh, okay, like, it's cool that they made something that fed into, like, this other thing. Do you <laughs> think that... Do you think that that's going to happen with, like, these other shows that they're making? Oh, like, do you oh, think Moon Knight is going to feed into something? Oh, I already know because uh, Loki brought in their, like, main bad guy for this next phase, which is Kong. Which is who? K- Kang, Kang, or Kong? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh! Right, okay. Kang the Conqueror, uh, yeah. Loki, yeah, Loki did it. So, like, yeah. Who did they cast? Didn't they already cast that guy? It's the same guy from the TV show, I think. Yeah. Was it? Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's already casted. He's like, he's gonna be like in the Marvel thing for like the next ten years. <laughs> oh, which is like, cra- see, I want to say like, oh, that's crazy because like. Kang the Conqueror isn't, like, that interesting or cool-looking or what... Like, he just kind of looks, you know, whatever. Who cares? But also, if you go back to, like, the Thanos stuff, it's not like Thanos was that interesting or whatever before, like, the movies came out. Like, yeah. Thanos was in, like, a lot of comics, but not, su- not like, wow, this is so interesting. Uh, <laughs> so that's... They, they only okay, teased Thanos you know. in the first Avengers, too, and then he didn't show up for, like, another five years in one of the other... Yeah! Movies. Yeah. Have they done anything? What was the... At, Adam Warlock? Have they done anything yeah, was, with him? Uh, the end of uh, Guardians 2. They, right, yeah. which was like, what, nine years ago? Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know what I, like, when was that? Uh, the, what year was Guardians, that? Guardians 2, I'll look that one up. Guardians 2. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. 2017. Oh, because it's almost five five or six years ago, yeah, yeah. They haven't done anything with this character that they introduced five years ago. <laughs> the only thing that I've seen Adam Warlock in since that movie was the Guardians of the Galaxy video game. <laughs> oh, I, thought, like that, I, I thought you were going to mention the actor because they cast the actor who was in uh, Shameless. They, that, 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 yeah. I, okay. <laughs> that guy looks like... It, like, you, it... Him younger... I assume it just based on his look looks like every bully from everything ever. He just looks like he'll call you a name and like push you into like the dirt. He just looks like, like, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Like, look at this. That's a kid who like makes fun of you in sixth grade. <laughs> like that's the kid that you're afraid. Like when you're in like fourth grade, that's the sixth grader that everyone's like, yeah, that kid's tough. And it's like, and because he, picks, he brought he a knife to school young, yeah, for real. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he just has that look. He just has that look. It's crazy. <laughs> I can it's crazy. It, yeah. And he's going to be Adam Warlock. Okay. Whatever, man. Good for you. So, so Nuts. on the Marvel subject, I was going to ask you, you've been watching Ms. Marvel or no? No, is that... Oh, no! I heard that it came out, but I haven't watched it. I mean, I don't watch any of their shows a, or whatever. It, it does, like, from a filmmaker's perspective, it has, like, interesting... Because uh, I've already caught up on it. I've seen, like, every mm. single Marvel... I've told you this already. I've seen every single Marvel yeah. show. Um, it has, it's interesting the way they film it, for like from a filmmaker's 
person. I've either. seen a lot. I haven't seen any of the show, but I've seen a lot of behind the scenes, like cam, like here's how we did this camera shot, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I don't know anything about the show, but fuck, at least like they're taking chances on like, yeah, she like lays down like this, and the camera like whips over, or the way we're shooting it this way. It's just like super interesting. Like at least there's that. At least there's something like meaty. Yeah. That's not just like. Oh, I'm a superhero, and I'm learning how to be a superhero. <laughs> oh, yeah. How am I going to defeat this suit, like this super villain? I don't know how to be a superhero, yeah, which is all it feels villain. like it's going to be yeah. as a show. At least, like they're shooting it, kind of interesting. It's, it's not more of a like defeat the superhero villain. It's more of her like discovering her power. I like that. That's cool. So, is there a villain? Uh, not yet. No, they're only on their second episode, and so there's not a villain. No. Do you, who do you think, like, I assume there will be a villain. It's who about, do you think that'll It's about be? Captain Marvel, and like I told you, my supervisor is also a huge Marvel guy and collects the comics. I'm going to have to ask him about it, because uh, he, okay. he reads them, so I, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I, yeah, I don't know, I don't know Miss Marvel villains at all. But I, um, I, I would really like for Brie Larson just to show up at some point in the show, because it's oh, yeah. Captain Marvel, and it's a Disney budget, yeah. so it's the same budget as a movie. Yeah, exactly. I I think that I bet she has a cameo in here. Some, you know what I mean? It's gonna be like a secret thing that like nobody knows. Nobody knew that they filmed it, and it's like, oh my god, they have a cameo from her. That's so cool. Like I bet that happens. Yes, uh, but, if not like the beginning of the season and the ending of the season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds right. I think uh, we have RTX. I mean, by the time this comes out, I think it'll be you know I'm long gone. Planning on posting this probably tomorrow or whatever. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Then when RTX is uh, coming through, I think new rock stars are coming to. RTX. So maybe I'll corner them and just go like, <laughs> and, and, who's going to be the villain? And, and, you tell and, me. And I'll be there, by the way. Yeah. You're coming to RTX? <laughs> yes. Oh, hell yeah. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be great. So, um, uh, on the topic of Disney, have you been watching Obi-Wan? No, I hear... I hear good things, but then I also hear, like, a lot of mixed things. Like, I heard, like, some really good stuff off the start. Like, from the gun, it sounded very interesting... But then sort of, I, I don't know if petered out is kind of like the right way to describe it, but it's just like that hype didn't sustain and it's not a thing that it feels like people are maintaining interest in maybe. Uh, but I don't know if that's fair because I haven't seen it. So it's definitely a show to like binge. Just mm -hmm. just saying because they released the first two, then you're like, oh, I want to see what happens next. Um, right. Like I told you, after I saw the first two, it's definitely my favorite of the Star Wars shows because it takes place right after... Episode three is in between three and four, and Ewan McGuire is great as uh, coming back as Obi Wan, and Hayden Christensen is in the suit for Darth Vader, and they got James oh that's pretty cool, and they got James Earl Jones to voice again. Damn, that's wild. Uh, I, they it, must have paid him so much money. And I just think it's dope knowing it's uh, um, Hayden Christensen inside that suit. <laughs> yeah, I think that's really cool. I think that's like, you know, you don't have to go that far for that, but that's really like, hell yeah, let's do it. That That's pretty neat. Um, uh, how are you feeling? Like, what is it? I don't know how to ask this. Like, what is it a, like about? I know it's like Obi-Wan and yeah, like he has, yeah, you know, no, it's, it's, what, whatever, like that kind of thing. It's like, but like, what is like the through line of this thing? Like a story? Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's pretty much Obi-Wan, like, being, like, disconnected from the Force, like, his feelings towards Anakin, like, being turned into Darth Vader and all that. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. I really like and that. Like, and, and, like, his failure after, like, episode three, like, how, like, Yoda felt after episode three and all that, yeah. That, see, I like thinking about, like, it's more, it feels like Luke was always the one of, like, I'm disconnected from the Force and I don't know how to feel, like... That was, that's always, like, his constant struggle. That's always sort of his thing of, like, finding the Force and then, like, the disconnection from the Force and center or whatever. Um, seeing it with Obi-Wan is super interesting and really cool. Yeah. And he, it, like, he do, does it feel pretty big? Does it feel like a TV show? Or does know, it feel like, like, a, like, like a pretty really premium graphic, product? It's really graphic, too. Like, they show, like, this when he cuts into a stormtrooper with his lightsaber they show it like getting cut in half and the, the blaster shots they show that going straight through like it's it's graphic <laughs> wow that's fucking cool that's awesome does it feel like does it feel like a show that's i mean you said that hey you know something to binge and i don't think there's anything wrong with that i think we live in a world where that's totally fair 
uh, to like wait until something's all the way out and then you know binge the whole thing, whatever. Yeah. Uh, do you think that there's enough there to like really sink your teeth into? Oh, oh no, per- I, I personally do. Yeah. Interesting. Well, finale's okay. Coming out, fin- finale's coming out next week, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many episodes Six. is it total? Six. Okay. Six in total, but they're like forty minutes to an hour each. It's not bad. That's and not. I, that, you know, I, that's pretty. That's pretty. And typical. I saw that the runtime might be an hour and a half for the finale or whatever, or something crazy uh-huh. like that. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I mean, that's that's pretty typical. What um what's like next for Star Wars then? Like, what are they doing I after this? I personally want. Uh, if you played the game The Force Unleashed. Uh oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I personally want. That's my favorite character from all of Star Wars. I personally want them to do a series on Star Killer. I would really love that. I think that would be interesting. I mean, like, it's such like an extended universe thing, but everything's sort of like. Why not? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Disney's just saying screw it now. Yeah. But, yeah, right. They're just like, again. what's an extended? Yeah. See, now here's, I guess, my big gripe with Star Wars is I was such a Star Wars fan when I was younger. Like, I read the books, and I was so into, like, the extended universe, and then they just went, like, no, fuck this. The extended universe isn't real. Fuck the extended universe. Like, if you read those, you're fucking stupid. Uh, none of that happened. None of that's real. None of it's canon. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And now it feels like it is. they're so inclusive of all of this stuff. It's like, well, why? All this stuff I already put all my time, this sucks. Like... To do it now, but to disregard the old stuff is, like, such... I don't know. It's, oh, like, yeah. fucking gross to me. I, I think it's such a bummer. I bet you in the future they're going to be like, oh, no, that all counts, too. <laughs> yeah! And if they do, at least I'll be like, all oh, right, that's cool. Han Solo fighting a space otter or whatever. Like, that's... I'm, I'm in. I'm like, let's fucking do this thing. That's maybe, like, the coolest... That's maybe, like, the coolest cover for anything is Han Solo fighting a space otter. Speaking, um, speaking of Star Wars, I watched, uh, through my channel, I watched the uh, old Ewok movies. Did you really? And I personally think the darkest Star Wars movie is the second one, the Battle for Endor, because, like, that child's parents and family are killed off in the first five minutes of that movie. In front uh, of yeah. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, it's brutal, right? <laughs> yes. And I titled oh. that on my. I was like, "This is the darkest Star Wars thing." I, I, when I was first watching it, they're like, "They're gonna get their ship fixed," and then, "Oh no, they destroyed the ship within the first five yeah. minutes." Yep. Uh, I remember. I don't remember the guy's name, but I remember the bad guy looking like monstrous, like being like really scary. Uh, he's got like n- like no nose or something. Yeah, I, I just he's, he's like one of the. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like yeah, he's it's like just the... like what like fucked up <laughs> like bad guys. I don't know. I, it, like super dark for so, for something that came out. What, what year was that? I think that was what like year 84, was Battle eighty five or whatever? Like around the same <sighs> time, the uh, holiday special would have been coming out. Wow, and I, did, I did see. I wonder that what for... was. I wonder what was going on. I wonder if they were going. This is so hot, we can't miss. And then like they missed so hard, they went. Never mind. <laughs> and I did see that too, by the way, for my channel. <laughs> How did you like that? Because it's pretty. Um... Oh no, I was. I definitely saw it around the holidays. So. Um... Uh, you could definitely tell Carrie Fisher was drunk during that, and uh, yeah, it was definitely <laughs> something where they went, "You wanna, you wanna do? Why do you wanna do this?" And then they go, "It's this much money," but and they go, "Oh, absolutely." You can see the regret in Han Solo's face in whatever scene he's in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like if I don't great. do another Indiana Jones film, I'm gonna be in the trash. <laughs> okay, so they are doing another Indiana Jones, right? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I've seen a couple of them, but not all of them. Um, you haven't seen all the Indiana Jones movies? No. <laughs> uh, I mean, like Crystal Skull is like so bad. Don't don't no, bother. No, but no, but no, I think don't, don't, I think that's you should watch one. it. Probably <laughs> that's my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Here we are okay. disagreeing again. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I mean, like Last Crusade is so good. Raiders is so fun. Like, yeah, Temple of Doom. Come on, man. Come on, man. All you need is a fridge to survive a nuclear holocaust. That's the most insane. <laughs> I had 
like i was doing like this birthday thing and we were talking about like that scene in particular because i just went wasn't there like an indiana jones where there was like a nuclear explosion and then like a squirrel looks at him or something and they were like oh yeah he gets in the refrigerator and there's a nuclear explosion it blows him clear and then like a groundhog comes up and says hi and i'm like oh oh yeah man hell, hell yeah. No, just, just cool. picture like the guy from ancient aliens aliens <laughs> Like, what the f- Like, look, I know that Indiana Jones is pretty fantastical, and that's kind of, like, the point, but it was, like, a little on the nose, I feel like, to have it be like, yeah, this is aliens. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's fucking... Ugh. Well, I hear that they're making another Indiana Jones. I heard that there's another one that's I'm supposed to... I'm like, to try to look this up, a like, new Indiana Jones. Yeah, in, like, I, you go on IMDb, and it's listed as Indiana Jones 5, but it's like, oh, the plot's oh, yeah, unknown. No. And, yeah, yeah, no, there's a... Five. But but I heard that that was supposed to be you know they're supposed to do that and it's like and okay, apparently he, yes. he's coming back for it too right Harrison Ford yes yeah yeah, yeah. that that's the whole reason that they're doing it is that Harrison Ford is like I'll come back for it and he's seventy nine years old right now <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he's so seventy nine years old. Does he not care, like, anymore about, like, I know he hates the Star Wars movies. Does he, like... Yeah, he, I think... Does he I think hate he the doesn't. Indiana Jones movies as much as the Star Wars ones? Yeah. it. I, I think he's probably fine with Indiana Jones, because I think it's, like, people are excited about Indiana Jones, but not to the degree they're excited about Star Wars. Does that make sense? Oh, so yeah. So I think he's yeah, probably the Star okay. Star Wars fandom is way more crazy than the, uh... Yeah, I... I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Uh, it, I... I think he's probably just like, yeah, this is, okay, fine, whatever. Yeah, let's do it. How much money? Yeah, okay, cool. And I think it's probably like, my buddies are going to be doing this. Yeah, I'm not doing anything this summer. Let's fucking, yeah, whatever, so let's do like, it. It's so kind of like an Adam Sandler type situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's something, it's probably, it has to be something like that because it doesn't have to just be the money. He's 80, you know what I mean? And he's rich. <laughs> right, he has so much money. Um, that it can get out of plane crashes with it. <laughs> yeah, yes. Multiple plane crashes. So, uh, do you want there to go. to DC now? So we can talk yeah. about these. Uh, you said you personally liked the three-hour Batman cut. <laughs> no! I don't like that. Oh, don't? I don't want <laughs> any more three-hour movies. And I don't want to see a three-hour Batman movie. So... I fell asleep an hour and 45 minutes in, and I woke up for the 20 minutes, and I was like, yeah, that's all you need to see of it. And I never did go back and rewatch it, like I said. Are I you was, serious? Yeah, yeah, I don't care to rewatch it. I, that's, with the, hey, with the, with the, I'm, with the, I'm with fucking the, proud of you. With that's the, awesome. With the, that's <laughs> so cool. I fell asleep at the part where he gets the bomb blown up in his face, and he, uh -huh. towards the end where he solves the riddle. And and then a few months after that, I rewatch. I'm like, I, I need to... A refresher. I re rewatched The Dark Knight with the Heath Ledger in it. I'm like, right. this is way fucking better, and it's almost, yes. it's almost as long. <laughs> oh, my God. It's... Oh, man. Oh, man. This is... Okay. I'm so proud of you for just going like, man, I don't think this is worth my time to go see again, and then watching a better version of the movie and going, this was a better version of the movie, and then being done with the other thing. Um, that makes me so happy. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Because it was literally a few months ago. It's like I'm bored. I have the time. Like I threw on the Dark Knight. I'm like Heath Ledger is still the. I personally think my favorite version of the, the uh, oh, Joker. What? What? Of what, course. What, do you, is it your or you two as well? Or yeah, 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 yeah. I I I think that I think Mark Hamill's cartoon Joker is like a cut above. Like that to me is like v a, a lot of Joker. People, a lot of, but a lot of I don't think it's the best version of the Joker. A lot of older uh, people go to. Uh, that I know go to the Jack Nicholson one. Just yeah, like, yeah, I can see that too. I think that was too campy for me. Yeah. I think, but I don't really care for those original Batman movies. Yeah, the 60s anyway. ones, yeah, neither do I, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's it's fine. But, it, like, I think Heath Ledger is probably the best version of the joke. Like, Mark Hamill again. Mark Hamill is the voice and the, you know, when everyone does, when people do an impression before that Heath Ledger one or whatever. It's Mark Hamill. People did a Mark Hamill doing the Joker impression. And I do think that if you were to, like, ask people to do, like, just people in the street to, like, do uh, a impression. Joker impression, it would be a weird mix of Both. Cartoon Joker or and Mark he, Hamill, yeah. or, and, and uh, Heath, Heath Ledger, Ledger Joker. So I, I think you'd find, like, kind of like a 50-50 split, and I think it would be upon, like, probably with age. But I think Heath Ledger is probably 
the best movie Joker or, or like live action Joker that we're ever going to get. So like, what did you think of the, because I know we didn't talk about this last time. What did you think of the, because I told you I watched the, the uh, extended cut like four or five times or whatever. And it's like a four hour movie. That's insane. I That's know, I crazy, dude. You and, and like, we never talked about it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you think, so is it worth it? You haven't seen it? <laughs> no. No. What are you talking? No, why would I watch it's, that? It's definitely better than the 2017 one. Like, way better. By milestone. And it's separated by parts. So, like, it's, it's meant to be watched by parts, but. Right, but why would, I'm never going to watch that. Like, that's too long, and also I don't want to spend that much time with these characters I don't really enjoy. Like, I don't care. And then now, I mean... I completely understand that for for people who don't have the time to sit down like I do. And, and also they're, like, ditching most of that stuff, aren't they? Like... Yeah, I fucking after, like, these Ben Affleck like, Batman isn't the Batman yeah, anymore. This, like, like they're not going to use him. Yeah, like after this next Flash movie, right? Aren't they like erasing everything or whatever? Yeah, yeah, that's the point of the Flash movie, right? I think so, but I don't know. Like, are they going to be able to do it because Ezra Miller is a fucking little freak on an island? <laughs> I heard about that, he like got arrested just now or whatever. Dude, he's yeah, he's gotten arrested over and over and over again. <laughs> he's been arrested like nine times. Oh my like, god. He's he's uh, crazy. He's like he's nuts. And then, uh, then they just but I don't know. Cancel okay. Him or heard too. <laughs> I just don't know like what you can do. It like you have this thing where you have this thing where you're sinking so much money into like this character that's like this person, but also who cares? You know, like yeah. It's not like it's that. Oh wow, man! Ezra Miller is the Flash. And it's like who gives a shit? Film a thing where that Flash dies at the end, and it's like, oh wow, Flash, you look different. Yeah, it must be the multiverse or whatever. Like, just be done. The only really one I like from the DC films was the the Batfleck. <laughs> are you are did were were you a big fan of him as that? Yeah, after Christian Bale, I think I personally liked him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, whatever. I mean, I get it. It's fine. Do you think that uh, with the Batman, it, like the 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 new one or whatever, and like the Joker thing that they showed, are you excited about that at all? Oh, we're talking about like the uh, whatever, like the YouTube thing they showed for the yes, yes. Okay, um, not really. Since I didn't like this movie, no. <laughs> right. That's what I thought, and that that's why I was wondering about like, how you felt about this. I'm hoping because it's like. I'm hoping the next one's not three hours either. <laughs> yeah, it's like the ugly kid from Killing of a Sacred Deer being the Joker, and it's like, that's so weird to me, but what, whatever, I guess. I mean, like, if they get a good actor to play the Joker, I mean, that, that might change my, uh, that, my opinion, but, like, I'm just hoping it's not three hours in the next one. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that, uh, how do you fucking, how do you say this guy's name? It's the guy from The Eternals. It's, like, the ugly Irish kid from, like, the Eternals. Oh, oh I, I've seen that one. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I just don't... I know him as the, uh, the ugly kid from Killing of a Sacred Deer, but he... <laughs> ugly kid from the Eternals. Yeah. Um, I, like, I guess. Cool. Like, he's... I don't know. Cool. He'll be the Joker, I guess. I don't know. Like, I remember when they announced Heath Ledger was going to be the Joker and, like, the internet making fun of that forever. Oh, yeah. He he, didn't he only do, like, romantic comedies or something like that? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, him being announced as the Joker was, like, the laughing stock of the internet until, like, the movie came out. Yes. I, I completely agree with that, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, the movie came out and it was like, oh, this is so like huge uh he's so good this is a master class and then he died and it was like oh <laughs> yeah fuck this was uh, the movie that did kill him because like he got so like into the character or whatever like that's that you know that's like the rumor but i think he i think he had a lot of you know i think he had i think he was struggling with a lot and um he's like locked himself in an apartment with the script and like yeah but i don't think that it was like i don't think it was the movie that did it i think it's probably you know i think it was a compound of different things that um ultimately caught up with him and you know it, it, that's fucking hard uh because man he 
man, what, what an incredible performance. Like, Heath Ledger in that is, like, yeah. so good. So if you want to move on to our last segment, we talked about, like, shows we watched last time. Do you want yeah, to? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I finished Space Force. Are you a fan of that? Space Force? Space, Space Force. What, what is, is no, no? I don't. Wait, wait was, was that, that the uh, was that the Netflix, Netflix show? show? Yeah, with the the cast of like the office in it, but like for yeah. Like, uh, I, I heard that it. I heard like that first season was pretty good, and then it did it have like a second season? Yeah, and it was like pretty. It felt like pretty phoned in. Uh, I, I liked it personally. <laughs> I mean, you know, some one of the main actors just curses out Microsoft. He says, "Fuck you, Microsoft." <laughs> That's, That's funny. funny. That's, That's it, like, I mean, it's a Netflix, Netflix show, so you kind of get what you expect, expect right? And yeah, uh, Netflix is one of the only platforms that drops everything in a day. So you yes, yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of, you, you know, know I, I think, think I'm fine with that for like a lot of these shows, shows too. With things like Space Force, it's like I, you know, I'm not going to be waiting for bated breath for them to drop like a midnight episode of Space Force. So why not, you know, just go for it? We're such a binge society at this point, anyway. Why not? Yeah. Um. What's the one you watch? Uh, I watched, actually, uh, this is not going to be anything that I think is uh, pertinent to where you probably land, but uh, Kids in the Hall did a uh, revival show. Like, they came back for another season. Uh, Kids in the Hall is a sketch comedy group from the early 90s. I think I've heard of that, though. Yes. uh, That's Dave Foley and uh, Bruce McCullough and Mark McKinney. And Kevin McDonald, uh, it, it, it uh, Scott Thompson, and it's like oh no, I'm looking at it, and I, I'm recognizing. Yes, it, it's so they had a TV show from like the late '80s, early '90s that I loved. I would like watch every day after school. I would like I'd go crazy for like I loved Kids in the Hall. I loved it. It's like it, it's an account I follow on Instagram where they just post old Kids in the Hall sketches. They put out, uh, for some reason, Amazon gave them a deal to, like, make a new show. Like, it's a sketch show. It's just, like, another sketch show. But um, they did another, like, eight episodes of just Kids in the Hall sketches. And they're considerably older. But it really, like, I didn't care. I really enjoyed it. I thought that it was... A lot of fun and very in the vein of the original Kids in the Hall stuff. Uh, you know, if you like sketch comedy, I really recommend it. But also, the original five seasons of Kids in the Hall are on Amazon Prime now also with that. So the only thing that I've watched recently really is I watched that, um, which was, I thought, exceptional. I was very, very happy with it. I, was watch- I also watched Jackass 4.5, which was great. That was a lot of fun, too. So I have to bring this up. Uh, have yeah. you heard of the TV show Barry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't. So I watched. What's, what's this? The third, third season? season? I watched the first two seasons, but I just haven't watched the third season yet. The third season is great so far. Like it's oh it's, yeah, it's quicker yeah. paced than the first two. Like the story is on to the point. Like, I love the season compared to the first two. After mm-hmm. the three year break because of COVID shit, I, I, this was great. I think yeah, yeah this this season. It, uh. You know, it, Bill Hader, I feel like, is really flexing a lot of muscle showing what he can do as an actor-director. And then uh, Stephen Root is going to be a hit in everything all the time. Put him in everything. I think Stephen Root never misses. He is hilarious. I think he is. He plays what, – what's the guy's name? Uh, 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 Fudges? Fudges? Fuches? Fuches? Uh, Fuches? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he is so good in everything all the time. I think Stephen Root is just like an all-star player. And then uh, I think Sarah Goldberg is really good opposite of Bill Hader uh, as Sally. She is fantastic. So I, I, it's, you know, it's a season that I'll watch. I just haven't done it yet. And then the last thing for me is uh, I just caught my younger brother up on the last season of Westfield because when I first saw season three. Oh, first that's season, right. There's a new season. Yeah, there's a new season coming up. And because it's been a few years since that came out too, I'm um, like, yeah, first off, yeah, a was, few, yeah, it's, no, yeah, no, it's been a few years. <laughs> when I, when yeah, I, when I first saw it, I was like, I don't, I don't really like the season. Like, it was slow, and like, 
season three is definitely something to binge because I liked it the second time I watched it compared to the first time I liked it. Yeah, yeah no, no kidding. kidding. That, that came, came out, out in 20... 20 that was... That, that came out in... Tw- what was... 20... 2019? 2020. 2020. It must have been 2019 oh, or 2020, right? Wow. <laughs> right at the like, start. Was, was it, it like right at like the start of like COVID, COVID lockdown and all that to, stuff? I was about to say, like, I feel like it was. He's like, he, and, and you know what? what? I, I, I do, do remember that because, because I remember people complaining like, about like the slow or whatever. Yes, yes. and like I, I think, think that's a show that thrives in, in being, being able to talk about it with like Lost. Being able to talk about it week to week and sort of like trying to dissect pieces. And when you don't have that and you're locked in your house and, you know, we're all learning how to work remotely, I think that um, that really hurt. That's, yeah, that's the why show. they that's why they didn't do one in three years, yes. Yeah. yeah. And, the, yeah. and Barry was also off the air for that long, too. Yes. Yeah. I mean, tough, tough, tough to film. film. You know, I don't blame them. Uh, that's, really, that's really, that's really, really hard, so... Yeah, yeah really like better. I liked it. This I definitely liked it more binging it than like week to week. So like, right. I, I had got a better appreciation for it. Are, Are you, you excited, excited for the new season? season? Oh, oh yeah. Like, uh, uh, compared to Team Dolores, I'm Team Mabe. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's cool. cool. I, you, I, you know what? I might, I might pick, pick it up, up again. again. I, I might watch it. It's not something that I'm like eager for. Yeah, but at the same time, it's not something I'd avoid. Uh, what about the boys? Are you on that or no? Uh, no, I, 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 I like it. I like, like the boys, boys, but it's not a show. Like, a show you like to watch. Yeah, I see. I don't really watch like a lot of stuff, but it's, it's hard. Like the boys, I read the comics, and I know that it's deviated a lot from the comics. Yeah. Uh, but because I heard it like caught up to it real quick in the. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because they're doing all the Soldier Boy stuff. I, I think, think for this season. season. And you know they got uh, is... Dean Winchester from Supernatural to play. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 To, to, to be Soldier, Soldier Boy, Boy, which is cool. You know, it's and just... I watched every single season of Supernatural in the last ten. Did years. you really? Yeah. That's, That's funny. funny. Who's, Who's the, the other guy? guy? Who's the his uh, brother yeah, or whatever? So I, I also met them both at one of their cons. So it's oh, that's cool. He uh, uh, the the other one who plays Sam, Walker Sam Tech Training. Oh, his actor Jared Jared. Padale- Padalecki, Padalecki or whatever yeah, it's, it's, we see him yeah, he's, he's, he's around, around all the time, time. yeah because yeah, he's, he's on films walker texas, texas ranger on the same lot where our you know where we work didn't that so, show get canceled or whatever just recently did it I was, i'm gonna have to look this up because i heard it like got canceled or whatever he's, really he does a lot of like shady stuff on on, on the side <laughs> really yeah Wow. I'm going to look this up, yeah, before we end it here. These are... <laughs> no, it says oh, in March 2022, the series was renewed for a third season. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was about to look it up. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope I hope they're doing another season because they've been doing all this construction to get shit set up. It's been crazy. Like, they've been, like, they've been shooting like fucking crazy on the lot, but then they had downtime and everything, so it's like, I, we just saw, you just see Jared Padalecki all the time, and it's like, you know, shooting you know, stuff with them. You know, they both, they, they both got functioning uh 65 era impalas after they ended up did they really oh that's, that's really cool. cool oh that's, that's awesome. awesome they both did because yeah that was the main car from the show and the, that, that was an interesting tack that i know i'm gonna <laughs> see i'm gonna, gonna find, find his i'm because he's gonna drive to set and i'm gonna steal it <laughs> and then i'm gonna drive it to your <laughs> house and i'm gonna say out, not, not you stole it, it. Not, now that they pointed it out to you be like hey can i can i see the keys <laughs> Yeah, let me. Hey, let me check, let me check this, this out. out. I, I got to show, show a friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think we covered everything. Is there? We did it. That yeah. was good. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, is there anything you want to say? Or promote RTX, RTX man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. RTX, RTX is going to be the thing. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited for uh, <laughs> RTX in Austin. Uh, it's July first through third, and I'll see you there. So, uh, yeah, be easy stuff. It'll be a lot of fun. I don't know what I'm doing there yet, but you know. We'll see. There's, there's a, there's like, I think there's a schedule that just came out. So find me, I guess. And uh, there you go. All right. Right. Um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy. And he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person. And you should subscribe.